Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to encrypt and how to decrypt an Azure VM. So let's jump over to the Azure portal. I have already created a test VM. Name is test VM1. This is in the test resource group. And the location of this VM is South India. And let's check how many disks do we have attached with this VM. So I have a disk and I don't have any data disk at the moment. So the default encryption type for this disk is SSE with PMK. So whenever you create a new VM, the default encryption would be SSE with PMK, which stands for server side encryption with platform managed key. The encryption I'm going to do is ADE, Azure Disk Encryption. AD is based on bit locker. So before I do it, the first step is creating a recovery services vault. So I click on key vault. I click on create vault. So the resource group name I have chosen is test. Key vault name, let's choose tech knowledge. And region, let me choose the same as your virtual machine, which is South India. One key vault can have keys for multiple Azure VMs. Surprising tier, let's keep it at standard. Soft delete, we are keeping at default 90. Access policy is it defines who is going to have access to the keys. So that will be my name. And we are enabling the access for Azure Disk Encryption. So now let's go ahead and click on create. So we have clicked on create. It should not take more than 20 seconds. Now in the meantime, let's go back, log into the virtual machine and check what's the current status of this VM drives. That's the IP. So let's log into my VM. I have set a custom port. So my IP followed by the port number 12345. Test VM user password is the top secret password. So let's check the status of our drives. There should be two drives. One is the OS drive and one is the recovery temp drive. So right now, as I can see, these are not encrypted. Once they are encrypted, we should see a lock symbol next to it. So now let's go ahead and encrypt our drive. I hope our key vault must have been created. It doesn't take much time. Yes, it's created. So how do we encrypt it? So let's jump over to the PowerShell. I already have the commands ready with me. So my key vault name will be tech knowledge. Resource group is fine. My VM name is fine. So once again, my key vault name is tech knowledge, resource group name is test. Then I have the command for encryption. 
resource group will be again test vm name is test vm1 and then if i like i can add another search for volume if i want to encrypt only the data disk or the oss but in our case we have only one disk so we can skip that part so click on the run button and the script execution has started i believe it should take around five minutes or so so we need to confirm it click on yes okay so it took less than two minutes and we are done so it shows status quo is true and reason phrase again it's okay okay so there is a command if you want to specifically check the disk status which is azure disk encryption status then vm name it will be vm1 in our case and then the resource group let's see what happens if i run this command okay so it tells me os volume is encrypted data volume no disk found so now let's check in the portal first just to verify it if it's done okay so where is my vm let's go over to the vm okay so this is my test vm i click on disk so this is my os disk if you remember when we started it was ssc with pmk and now we also see ad attached to it so now let's log into the vm and see what's the status there so our vm ip was 1371931.75 so this is my vm 1371931.75 okay so the status has changed so explorer is throwing error messages let's close it and open it once again okay so do you see that change now next to c drive and d drive i have a lock symbol so when i right click i have a option for manage bit locker okay so under manage bit locker what options do i have i have a option to turn off bit locker or I have an option to back up my recovery key. So benefit of backing up the recovery key is just in case your VM is crashed and you want to attach this disk to a different VM. At that time when you look at the status of the drive, a lock will be closed and when you double click on it, it would prompt you for the recovery key. So in those situations, you can enter the recovery key which you have saved at this step and you will be able to browse through the contents. So this was about how do we encrypt an Azure VM. Now, let me go ahead and show you how do we decrypt it back. So jumping over to PowerShell again. So the command to decrypt is, let's, let's copy it over. So the last parameter it's optional in our case but if you are planning to decrypt any specific os or data disk you can use that so okay so let me show you the status once again from powershell okay let me show it to you after we encrypt i'm sorry after we decrypted So again a confirmation, I click on yes, should not take much time. Encrypting took about 2-3 to three minutes, so hopefully even this should be done under 2-3 minutes. Okay, so it took about 2 minutes and we are done. So let's copy the command to check the status
Okay, so after encryption, it was encrypted and node is found for data disk. Now after we have decrypted it back, it says not encrypted. So what do we have in the portal now? It's back to the same what we had before and what we have inside the VM. So the lock symbol is gone. So the bit locker password, I'm sorry, the bit locker encryption has been removed. So this was how we encrypt and decrypt the disk for the Azure VM. Now one more step, the last thing I'll show you is how to delete the recovery, sorry, how to delete the key vault. So it's not so straightforward. If you click on the key vault, if you click on delete, you get an error. The soft delete feature has been enabled on this key vault. After you soft delete this key vault, it will remain in your subscription. So how do you, how do you delete it now? Let's say if I want to delete it now. So there is another PowerShell command for that, which is this. So these four PowerShell commands, I am going to put it in the description section below. To sub confirmation, I click on yes. Is it done? It would take few seconds. Let's refresh it. So it shows up. Okay, so it's gone. So today we have learned the default disk encryption, then AD encryption, how do we encrypt and how do we decrypt. Then the last thing we learned was how do we how do we delete the key vault. So it's not so straightforward of clicking on delete button, it is gone. There's a PowerShell command to do that. So that was about today's video. So if you found this video useful, please like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And if you're looking for any specific video on Azure, please mention it in the comment section below. I'll try to make the video for you. So that was it for the day. Thanks for watching.